Today I'm gonna teach you how you can create this crazy looking flash frame transition effect inside of After Effects. Let's go. Really quickly, shout out to my boy Tiny Tapes for putting me onto this transition. Honestly, it was a really cool effect that he made, and this is my own spin that you can create inside of After Effects natively. So first up, we have our two clips right here, and this is where the transition is gonna be. What you're first gonna do is hit Command Shift D to split that layer, and then in between the two cuts, we're actually gonna make this transition 10 to 20-ish frames, depending you know on how long your effect you want it to be. And then we're gonna hit Command Shift D again and split that, and there we go. Now we have a nice length transition layer. Now this effect is based off the time remapping effect inside after Effects. If you have Sapphire random edits, you can use that. But for those who don't, you can actually make this entirely native. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first right click this and then I'm going to hit time and enable time remap. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the very beginning of my transition, which I am. I'm going to hit a keyframe right here on time remapping. I'm going to go maybe a couple frames in and then I'm just going to randomly like pick another point in the video. And by the way, this is a fully edited music video, so it might work a little bit better in my case. But if you have a bunch of random clips, I recommend just going ahead and stitching them together using the Adobe Media Encoder and then that way you'll have a bunch of clips that will help create a better look for this transition. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm just basically going throughout the entire video and I'm just keyframing random timestamps to different parts of the video. Now you can of course just go ahead and mess around with these keyframes order them in whichever direction you like. I want it to be a little bit shorter. There you go. That looks pretty crazy to me. And I might even expand this just a little bit more. I want it a little bit slower. Before we go into the next step, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Devin Wynn. I've been a video editor for about seven years. I've shot and edited countless music videos and event recap videos for these clients. But I used to be just like you. I started editing in high school, had no clients, and was just struggling to get work. Now I give away everything I've learned to get to this point completely for free here on this channel. And also for those of you looking to level up and speed up your edits even faster, I give away the exact presets and templates that I use to land these types of clients. So if you want to check them out, they're all linked below. We have overlay packs, camera shake packs, title cards, and we even made a brand new AI plugin that will edit your videos to the beat of any song. So if you want to check it out, it's all linked down below in the description. Anyways, let's get back to the tutorial. So now we have this time remapping effect. What we're going to do next is we're going to go to layer. We're going to hit new and we're going to create two adjustment layers. So I'm going to hit that one. I'm going to select this adjustment layer and hit command D and then we're going to turn off the visibility on the top one because we're going to save that for later. What we're going to do now is we're going to trim this first layer down to the length of this transition. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go to our effects and presets and we are going to search for the directional blur effect. Now I'm going to go ahead and increase this blur length. Yeah, maybe about like 100 12 ish 2015 ish maybe yeah whatever it doesn't really matter <laughs> but what i'm going to do next is i'm going to grab my lips tool and i'm just going to draw a circular mask around our adjustment layer then i'm going to hit the drop down on that mask and invert that mask so that it's just around the edges and I'm going to feather the edges, of course, as well. I might increase that blur in length even more. So that we got this crazy like blur effect to our transition. I might go ahead and scale this up as well so that we don't have those edges. And just like that, that's looking pretty cool. After you have that blur effect, we're gonna go back to our effects and presets and we're gonna search for the chromatic abbreviations. This is my favorite effect of all time inside of After Effects. Now there's actually two versions. There's Quick Chromatic Abbreviation 3, which I believe is by plugging everything. They crushed it. It's basically the same exact thing as the After Effects Chromatic Blur, but the cool thing that they added is they added a stylistic tab right here, which lets you blur together the aberration, which is just super helpful because on the After Effects standard one, you have no option to blur this, so you kind of get these harsh edges, but here you can actually blur the edges of the chromatic aberration it just makes it feel a lot more realistic I'm gonna use quick chromatic aberrations 3 completely for free I've linked to it down below then we're gonna search for a glow effect and I'm gonna apply the standard after effects glow one to our bottom layer I know most people complain about the standard after effects glow because it's pretty trash but honestly it gets the job done if you just mess around with enough settings so I'm increasing the glow radius to around 66 and then the threshold really depends on your scene but I'm gonna turn it pretty low just so we get a lot of glow going on right here if you want you can even go ahead and just get rid of the mask on the adjustment layer it'll create even crazier blur effect so yeah either option works but yeah that's looking pretty cool next up what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this top adjustment layer I'm gonna turn the visibility on it back on I'm gonna hit command shift D delete this background layer I'm gonna do about 12 frames before and 12 frames after the cut so I'm gonna hit command shift D 
split it like that and yeah that's looking pretty good and now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use a new preset from our transition pack for after effects so i'm gonna search our v3 shake it up so i'm gonna drag this warp shake up v3 one right here to our layer and now you can see if we play it out we got this crazy looking like warp effect and then it transitions into the flash so i can actually just remove the adjustment and boom just like that the last thing that i'm gonna do to just level off this effect is i'm gonna go here to this final adjustment layer or you can do it on the exact clip below it but i'm gonna search for and apply number one is the camera lens blur and I'm gonna apply that right there. And then I'm gonna search for and apply the speedometry color right there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go 12, 14 frames after, and then I'm going to hit a drop down on our basic color correction, hit a keyframe on this exposure at zero. And by the way, this is 10 to 14 frames after the cut is, is ended. And then I'm gonna do the same thing right here for the blur radius. I'm gonna set the blur radius to zero actually, because we don't want any blur. Now I'm gonna go to the very beginning of this final cut right here. I'm gonna turn up the blur radius like a bunch. I'm gonna do like 68-ish. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just turn up the exposure a little bit, maybe to something around four. And there you guys have it. If we play it out, we got this crazy transition, super easy to make, completely native inside of After Effects, with the exception of the quick chromatic aberration three, but you can also use the standard chromatic aberrations in After Effects, but both of those plugins are completely free. So you don't really need any third-party plugins that are paid essentially. Leave a comment down below if you had any questions or concerns or which tutorials you'd like to see from us next. Also, if you're interested in checking out our brand new AI auto edit plugin, which will automatically edit your videos to the beat of any song, it's linked down below. And we also have a full demo video of it linked right here of how to edit your entire music video in basically three clicks. So if you want to check it out, link right here. Thanks guys for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.